All right, I want to talk for a minute about another message that I did for Sermon Audio. Actually, two messages. Um, that's 12 reasons for a pre-tribulation rapture. And uh, that's what I believe in, and I believe for very good reason. So I just want to cover um, 12 reasons here very quickly. If you want to hear the whole message, you can go to Sermon Audio and listen to it. It's, I think, just about two hours, a little over two hours long, so... I cover it in great detail. Number one, the first reason I believe in a pre-tribulation rapture is because the Jews require a sign and it's called, more properly, it's not really called the time or the uh, great tribulation, it's called the time of Jacob's trouble in Jeremiah 30 verse 7. Right now an Orthodox Jew does not believe in the New Testament. Okay, they don't believe in this book. Old Testament, yeah, they'd agree with that. New Testament, no. But in the time of Jacob's trouble, they're going to get a play-by-play. -play. The seven trumpets, the seven, excuse me, the seven seals, the seven trumpets, the seven vials. So the New Testament will be confirmed to the uh, children of Israel. The second reason I believe in a pre-tribulation rapture is because it says in Matthew 24, 15 that the Antichrist will stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Okay, a Christian... Right now, the temple, the holy place for a Christian is right here. Okay, the Holy Spirit dwells within me. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 says, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you? Right there is my holy place. I don't have a temple, okay? Which is a problem, too, if you're a Catholic, spending all those millions and millions of dollars on your big temples. Okay, number three, the third reason that I believe that the rapture is pre-tribulation. Uh, it basically is because the gospel that is preached there is different than our gospel today. You have faith plus works. All right, You can't take the mark of the beast in that tribulation time period. We don't have the mark of the beast today. And I know some people will probably disagree with me, but I believe that you can lose, somebody can lose their salvation in that time of Jacob's trouble. The Bible is very clear about that. Revelation 14. Again, you can hear more details uh, in the message there. The fourth reason I believe in a pre-tribulation rapture is because it's said to be a mystery and it's first revealed to Paul. He says, Behold, I show you a mystery. 1 Corinthians 15. The second coming of Jesus Christ is not a mystery. It's been revealed back even in the Old Testament it's talked about. So this thing that's Paul's talking about in 1 Corinthians 15 is not the second coming of Jesus Christ. Number five, uh, you have the resurrection of dead saints. Okay, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Where's this at in Matthew 24? It's not there. You don't see dead saints coming up. All right, number six, you have blood redeemed Gentiles in heaven before the Antichrist is revealed. Okay, the, the Antichrist is revealed there in Revelation 6. Okay, it took me a minute there to find it. It says, I got a lot of notes here. Um, it says in Revelation 5 verse 9 about these this group of people in heaven and it says that thou hast redeemed us or and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. Okay, that's not Old Testament Jews. There's a group of people in heaven who are redeemed by the blood of the lamb out of every kindred uh, tongue, people, nation. Obviously the body of Christ. Okay, now reason number seven. Uh, the bride of Christ is in heaven before the second coming of Jesus Christ. So you can't possibly believe that the bride of Christ is going to go through the time of Jacob's trouble and then get raptured at the end or kind of go up and then come right back down, which a lot of people teach. Number eight. Uh, God always removes the righteous before his, his judgment is poured out. A lot of people will say, yes, well, what about the early Christians, the martyrs and saints? That wasn't God's wrath. Okay, God's wrath is coming on this planet, and God's going to be, be removing those that are obedient to him, those that are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. He's going to remove them before his wrath is poured out. And if you don't believe that, you've got a lot of scriptures that you... Uh, are going to have to ignore. Reason number nine, saved Christians are not appointed to God's wrath, as I stated earlier, okay? Man's wrath, yeah, you'll get some of that. Christians, of course, have. Read Fox's Book of Martyrs. Um, 
But as far as God's wrath, no, if you're saved, you're not appointed to that. Reason number 10, uh, Matthew 24 is doctrinally in the Old Testament. Okay, the New Testament begins with Jesus Christ dying on the cross, Hebrews chapter 9. Again, we cover that uh, in great detail. Uh, Hebrews 9, verse 16 says, For where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the testator. Verse 17, For a testament is a force after men are dead. Otherwise, it is of no strength at all while the testator liveth. Okay, Matthew 24 is another transitional book. People get all messed up doctrinally because they try to use Matthew 24 and apply it to the body of Christ. You can get really messed up. Reason number 11. The trump of God is sounded at the rapture. Trump of God, not trumpet. And there again, people get that all mixed up and they try to make it the, the last trumpet of uh, the seven trumpets that are blown. It's not the same thing. It's the trump of God. A lot of the new versions, by the way, will remove the word trump and they'll put trumpet in its place, like the NIV. I know they do it. So you can get messed up there too. But you have Revelation chapter 4, you have John hearing a voice talking to him as it were a trumpet. Okay? That's what the word trump means. It's a voice, the voice of the trumpet. And again, I cover that in great detail. Um, number 12, it is a purifying hope. Okay, the rapture, if you are expecting the rapture to happen before the tribulation, and it could happen at any time, then it will purify your life. Now, if you believe that the rapture isn't going to happen until the end of the tribulation, well, you're not going to have to worry about meeting Jesus face to face for a long time. For at least seven years. At a minimum. You know, seven years. Okay. So you see, it just... I've had dealings many times now with, with uh, professing Christians that believe in this post-tribulation rapture thing. They get all messed up in doctrine. Um, every time they'll use Matthew 24, they start doubting their salvation. They start talking about having to endure to the end, to be saved. You know, they just get all messed up, totally off base. I have another message at Sermon Audio called Post-Trib Rapture Thieves, and I show how that to believe in a post-tribulation rapture, you actually have to steal certain things. Most importantly, you have to steal things that God wrote for the Jews, for the nation of Israel. And you have to steal that and apply it to the body of Christ, which is heretical, of course. So, you want to have, if you're questioning the issue about when is the timing of the rapture, and you've been led astray by some of these false prophets on YouTube, and there's plenty of them, that are teaching a post-tribulation rapture or no rapture at all. Um, I actually heard a, a guy, John Weaver, saying that the rapture is the rapture of the wicked to judgment, <laughs> which is ridiculous. Okay, the dead in Christ, in Christ, shall rise first. There's so many false prophets on this issue. But if you don't know anything about it and whatever you want to learn, go to Sermon Audio, listen to our messages on the rapture, and uh, I think that you'll see that the return of the Lord is fast approaching and you have to be busy about the things of the Lord. Don't try to stop the New World Order. Don't try to fight the forces of the Antichrist. You're not going to do it. Okay, the Bible says it's going to happen. Okay, prophecy is pre-recorded history. You're not going to stop it. You need to get busy about the work of the Lord and lead people to Jesus Christ. So, that's it. Thank you.